Right, it's Mike Millions. What's up with it, boy? Man, you know me, man. I'm just chilling, man. I don't know, like, I'm tapping the fast line. Right, right. You already know it, man. So, just kind of take it back, man. We, we've been fucking with each other for a minute now, you know. Just um, getting it in. Two independent artists sharing the same dreams through the same means, you know, so. For, for everybody who listening or whatnot, man, let them know who you is, where you from, and what you represent. All right, I am the most hated. Ice Mike Millions, a.k.a. Ice Millions, a.k.a. Everybody Hate Millions. Mr. Google me and see that I got a gang of material on mine. I'm, I'm from L.A., I'm from Los Angeles, California, but I just so happen to be the number one rapper in West Texas, unfortunately. And fortunately, it's a curse and a gift at the same time. You know, I've been putting it down for a long, long, long time. Uh, I got four albums on that tip. That tip dot com slash Ice Mike Millions. I got two albums on Reverb Nation slash Ice Mike Millions. Uh, two singles on iTunes and a full length album on iTunes called Everybody Hate Millions. And uh, uh, I got that work, and that's said. And it's doing pretty good right now. You know, it's. I, I think I'm up to like my 700 download, and that's cool for strictly independent, no major, no nothing. It's just all me. Right, yeah, I'm definitely feeling that. A lot of people don't understand sometimes what it what it truly means to, to be independent. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a lot of rappers saying they're independent right now, but they got major distribution deals. So, it's like, that's a, that's a different story. Like, you know, when you got a yeah, major that's not, To me, that's not independent. Yeah. To me, independent is when you take your own money that you hustled up, however you hustled it up, yeah. and say, okay, now my project done, that you done bought beats from here and over here and over there, and then my project done, let me get pressed up, and bam, that's an independent person. Yeah. When you go around and you got to pass out your own flyers, when you don't have a street team, it's just you. Right. When you took your car that you was riding around, probably hustling, whatever you was hustling, and now you wrapped it with your rap logo. You know, that's independent to me. Right. Like, I, 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 done, I done started this thing, Mike. Uh, it's called true independent. <laughs> right? Yeah, I had yeah, to put yeah, the, yeah. I had to put the true in front of it because you got so many people who say they're independent, but they got major labels and major cosigns and a whole bunch of other shit going along with that that's putting them as a mainstream artist. So now nah, they're really not independent. You know? Yeah, see, that's, that's, how I, that's what I be looking at. Like, you know, a lot of major, a, a lot of independent artists, not independent, I think they just use the word because it sounds cool, you know. Right. And it, it takes away from a true independent artist because when they see people like me and you, you know, they don't, sometimes they don't give us the full respect that we earn, you know what I mean? Because they don't understand that we honestly do more work in the major independent artists. Right. right. I know I do shit. I do everything by myself from shooting videos and shit. Yeah, that's what. Right. I'm shooting videos or doing everything, recording my shit or whatever, you know what I mean? I do pretty much everything by myself to come out of my pocket. Yeah. All the promotion, all the marketing. I mean, when I linked up with you, it was kind of like a blessing because, you know, then it cut a lot of my costs, but before then, it was coast to coast. Right. That's who I was, you know, watching with. Yeah, man. That's definitely, that's definitely one of the things I, 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 I brag and boast about myself just you know, basically personally funding everything I'm doing out of my own account, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's what I consider true independence, man. So, you know, another one of the things I try to tell people, too, because you got these major media outlets, you know what I'm saying? And they're not really catering towards independent artists who putting in all this work. So, like... No, they don't. They don't. They look yeah. over us. The, the political part that most people don't understand is that it's all about funding, you know what I'm saying? Like, these major labels got money, so that's why um, a lot of these major media outlets cater to them. But when it comes down to it, a lot of people don't know what journalism is and, 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 and the honor that a journalist should have in writing a story. And, like, that story should consist of something that's true and, and, and actually reaches the people. You know what I'm saying? So, exactly. you know, man, it's it's just one of those things. Like, shoot, a lot of these, a lot of these guys, man. That you know, and, and that that's I can't take nothing away from rappers who made it because they a lot of them started from the bottom. 
and but the thing about it is they didn't get any recognition from these media outlets until they made it to the top so they went through the same struggle we did you know what i'm saying it's just now they they better off now because they got um people behind them they got the machine behind them basically you know but yeah um, see I, I i mean sometimes i respect them but sometimes i don't because if we all started from the same spot my nigga, why is it so hard but but for some of the independents that went major to reach out to some more independents. Like, yeah. I don't understand what, what's the problem. Like, you know, a person that, like me and you, say one of us blow up, motherfuckers' numbers go to change, nigga can't get in contact with nobody no more, and all that other type of crazy shit would. The way I feel like if, if I was to make it right now today, I, I'm going to change, my numbers going to change, but my contact's still going to be the same, and I'm going to contact the people that helped me get to where I was at, or that believed in me when didn't nobody else believe in me, so they know I'm still a real nigga, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's that's really what it's about, too, because you, you mentioned the key word in there, the people that help you. See, that's the thing yeah. about it. Like, I'm at a particular point in my life where some of the people, I don't even answer my phone no more because I ain't got time for the bullshit. If you're playing around and you ain't really trying to get this money, there's no need for us to even be conversating. Other than that, we just yeah, have right. a friendly talk, and I ain't got no friends, so I'm in it for the business, so... You know, for a lot of these guys who do make it, I understand where they coming from when they change their phones and they don't fuck with a lot of these niggas because, you know, them niggas wasn't there. Like, you can't expect me to plant the seed, till, till the garden, crop the food, cook it, and, and then, you know what I'm saying, put it at the table for you to eat. You know what I'm saying? I did all the work. The only thing you did was show up. So that's a whole different story. And, um... Yeah, you right, you right. Yeah, man, so, you know, I, I, I try to, you know what I'm saying, I watch my circle, man, like, my circle, I pay attention to everybody, I got to file on everybody, if you working, then you working, and, and, and after so long, if you not working, then I say, hey, man, this position ain't for you, ain't no need for you to keep on trying, it's just, it's just, you know, you just ain't doing nothing, so, like, why keep on representing and claiming something that you ain't putting into, because other than that, you working off of my stripes, and I don't need that. So, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we I just, just seen that happen a lot too with a lot of people. You know, they that's how they got in the game over somebody else's <clears> strikes, <throat> but they really wasn't even worthy of getting in the game, right? You know, so yeah, man, I'll let you just got to keep it going. What type of project you got coming up, though, man? I, I see you've been posting and putting it out there, you know. Yeah, I got the new project from uh, live from Taylor County Jail, man. Uh, I had did I recorded this album before I had got locked up on my little old vacation. Right. My uh my fourth vacation what I call it. I'ma go do that, but then I'd have linked up with one of my old school partners, man, that I knew from way back in the game. And we should have gone in the lab and we should have worked on something. I don't even want to call it no name because it's gonna be magical. I don't know what I'ma call it. It's just gonna be some some live ass shit. Like right. it'll be ready by the summertime. I mean, every time me and this dude get together, we make some live shit, and I don't never have a title, so I don't know. It's just, it's, I'm just gonna, it's just be on the lookout for it. You know what I'm saying? Right. For real, it's, it's, it's really gonna be summertime heat, man. For yeah. real. Right. Yeah, man. Um, you know, I, I, I enjoyed you at the show, bro. The last show we had in Fort Worth, man, it was an epic night. You know, um, our first time actually meeting. All the week, yeah, yeah. We've been talking for years over the phone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Now I'm like, man, that was monumental, man. Yeah. We, we, I pulled up, man. You still show me love, like you didn't know me for 20 years. Right. You know what I mean? And that's what it's all about. I mean, see, we networked. I met a gang of dudes out there, man. That, that I just, I wouldn't have never met them if I wouldn't have met them through you. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And right. they all, all them motherfuckers cool. I still talk to them to this day. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so I mean, we definitely like I say, man, the most shows yeah. you got, let me know. I'm, I'll drive my ass out there, man. It ain't shit. I'll be driving to California. It ain't shit to drive to Longview and Tyler and H-Town. I mean, I'm down with that shit. Yeah, well, shit, you know, we're going to get it in, man. We're going to definitely, it's going to be a blessing for me and you, you know, just to continue this grind and, uh, you know, not stop. Or whatnot, man. Uh, so I, I ask people a lot, a lot of this, man, because goals are very important. Where do you see yourself within the next five years? Okay, you know, that's that's like my medium, long term goal. But I set my yearly goals 
So, I mean, I add my yearly goals up, and I say within the next five years, I should be where I want to be, and where I want to be is, is a major independent distributor, artist, and label. Not just a rapper, but they can come to me and do pretty much all, like a one-stop shop. You know what I mean? In five years, I mean, I'm buying all the equipment right now, going to all the schools, getting around all the people that that's already done it, like you and my big homie right over here. And I'm going to buy all the stuff and, and, and try to be a major distributor in my area of West Texas where they don't have it at. And corner this motherfucking market. Right. And Maybe. lock it down, you know what I'm saying? What's your what's Get your name, what's your Facebook name? What's your name on Facebook? All right, you know, you know, it, we had real big complications because it's a dude from Harlem named Mike Millions. You know what I mean? Right. So I had to go with the real Mike Millions. You know what I mean? Because he broke. I mean, I, I don't talk down on nobody, but you can look at this picture. You can look at my picture. My jewelry real. He don't got nothing on. Like you can't be Mike Millions without without <laughs> nothing around your neck. You know what I mean? And my and my name, I'm a street nigga. My name, Ice Mike. And yeah. my big homies call me Ice Mike because I'm cold, but then there's another rapper named Ice Mike from right. the Bust Down crew. Now, I don't talk about him because he had a hit record called Nasty Bitch. If you remember a long time ago, that song Nasty Bitch. Yeah, I remember that. But, you know, so when they say Ice Mike, when they when I say Ice Mike, they think of him. So I had to put all that together at Ice Mike Million. That's my Twitter name. Spell, Ice Mike spell, Million. spell your Facebook you know name so people can find you. Yeah, The Real Mike Million. The Real Mike Million. Spell it for me. Uh, uh, the, the real M I K E M I L L O N Z. So the real is spelled T H E because you know some of them spell it T H A. Yeah, to me, look, you know I'm gonna keep it 100 percent honest to you, bro. You know, you know I'm, I'm from L A. You know we got the prescriptions, even though I'm in Texas. You know I'm on my I'm on my California medication right now, eating some fish and shit, trying to go in this barbershop to get a slot to shoot you some fishes, right? So right. I don't know if it's T H A. Or T H E, but it's the nigga. It's the nigga that's holding two motherfucking crosses in yeah. a black shirt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That yeah. that's the, I'm that one. Or right, tell him just to Google. Tell him to go to Google and Google search Ice Mike Millions, and it's gonna take him straight to my Facebook. It's gonna take him to everything they need to see about me. Okay. That's the beautiful thing about Google and Bing. If you put in the work, they gonna put it online for you. All you gotta do is do what you're supposed to do. Right. Okay. Well, shit, man, that's what it is, bro. You know, we getting it in, man. It's your boy, Baby Savage, the guys of Grind interview, the real Ice Mike Millions, personal homeboy of me, man, man, the team. Hell, yeah. Ready to bump this nigga up to the motherfuckers. I'm tired of my nigga saying he the next masterpiece. I'm ready to bump him up to, for, for somebody to say they the next Baby Savage so a motherfucker say they can be the next Ice <laughs> Mike Millions. Yeah. Because if it ain't nothing, it ain't shit, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it yeah. ain't independent, it ain't real. I'm yeah. trying to tell them independent artists is really the real nigga that's out there. No disrespect to T.I. No disrespect to, to 2 Chain. I done met all them dudes, but this is what I noticed what they all had in common that I didn't have in common that me and you got in common. Now, and, th and this is not trying to go back on my old shit before the interview over with, but, but this is what I want the world to know. The reason why we the most known, unknown rappers is because we really saw them brick. And we really did that time. So while they was out there selling rocks, and then they like change because they was in the land at the right place at the right time. They 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 probably got quarter pieces. They didn't they wasn't out there like this. They life wasn't built around selling what we were selling. So they took their opportunity and they see and I don't have no problem with that. But they rapping about my life. And it's time for me to stand up for niggas like you and me that really did this shit that nigga we nigga you done a ten piece and I done thirty two, thirty three, nigga damn near four years. Yeah. But they rapping about our shit, though. You feel me? They get rich and then get in trouble. You feel right. me? That's another reason why I ain't signed with none of them niggas. They done all came at me with a bullshit-ass deal. But I don't want to sign with nobody that get rich and then get in trouble or get rich and then want to be a game banker. I game banked all the way already. From, I'm from L.A. Hey, I'm trying to get rich and get away from all that shit. And you about the only motherfucker that's trying to do that. You the oh, only shit. motherfucker that see me and see, nigga, I got $10,000 worth of jewelry around my neck and you ain't hating on me. Nigga, you give me a hug, nigga. Give me a smile that ain't no fake ass smile. You ain't checking for the burner. You ain't asking how much money I got in my pocket trying to rob. That's why I fuck with you. Hey, a lot of niggas I, ask hey, me. One why thing you about fuck it because? though, Mike. I, you know, I, I love you. I love the fact that you got that jewelry around your neck because I got the same thing around mine. So birds of a feather exactly. flock together. When a nigga hmm. getting money, he ain't worried about nobody else's money, man. Niggas been asking me like, man, 
why you fuck with him? And I'm like, nigga, do y'all not see what the fuck he's doing? They're like, yeah, but these niggas, it ain't no but. Look at what he's doing. See, all these young niggas be rapping about that bullshit. Nigga, this nigga got a tour bus. I had to show him the pictures like, nigga, see how they like, well, I ain't never heard of him. So what? Nigga, look at the bus, say $1.5 million. He ain't really sign. I took him to the little old thing. This nigga count $25,000, bitch. He ain't sold no brick. You see, what if I can tell? I used to sell him. He wouldn't be on Facebook, YouTube, count 25 racks if he sold a brick. That's rap money, nigga. Nigga, I'm going over your house. Say, nigga, y'all see this? Because they, they, they don't know about money. Pack. These real dumb street niggas from the country. Now, I know you know them, nigga. You man still. I done been through there before. They ain't just a big city. Nigga, they seen your money pack cards on your page. And they like, that nigga ain't getting no money because he charges $50. I say, nigga, go to the fucking... Go to the fucking XXL page and you count all the people and say that's $50 a piece. It's going to be at least 20, 30 motherfuckers, 40 motherfuckers. And then he got the top part. He monopolized it, nigga. What I'm trying to do. That's why I don't fuck with y'all. Because y'all don't know what y'all trying to do. You feel me? He know what he's trying to do, my nigga. He, nigga, he, he, he an ageless nigga. I don't even ask him how old he is because it don't even fucking matter. I just know the nigga went to the pen and he, he behind so he getting back where he needs to get to where he should have been to when he had them chicks. Me and his dreams and me and his story, the same thing. I should have did this year when I had them chickens, but I went to the PN, so now, nigga, God, praise be to Allah that he put baby sandwich in my life. You, nigga, I don't even know how we even became friends on Facebook, but we became friends, and, and nigga, on my mama, nigga, my life didn't change. Nigga, I don't sell nothing but music. I can say that, praise be to Allah. I say, and I changed my life over to, to Islam. You feel me? And that all came from just everything that happened in my life, man. I had a murder case that was over my head, and, and you still stuck with me, bro. You know, I had a record deal with costume hoes dropped me. They won't even talk to me. They won't even give me my album or nothing. They don't even fuck with me like that. They said they didn't want to fuck with nobody like that, and you still talk to me, and you an established nigga. You don't have to. You, you didn't have to give me no interview. That's why I, want, I try to tell a nigga loyalty is way more than royalty because I know at the end of the day, this nigga ain't trying to feed me no fish. Nigga, baby Savage trying to teach me how to fish, nigga, so I can go get get this motherfucking money. He ain't never tapped in front of me. He ain't never did no stuff. He been the same nigga from day one. Yeah. Like, nigga, I let my mama see your shit, nigga. And my yeah. mama like, well, he why you talking about dope? I say, mama, read this, read this, uh, his news article. She read the whole thing. She said, oh, yeah, that's your blessing. That's your car right there. Because you ain't got to explain what you're going through. That's why every time you go to jail and you get out, his number's still the same. It ain't like Slim Thugs. It ain't like how all the other niggas was that yeah. you was with, Mike Jones, and then you go to jail and hey, come home. Hey, and, hey, you know uh, what I'm saying? yeah, man. Um, you know one thing about it, bro. Um, you know we just gonna keep on popping it, and we gonna make it work. You know what I'm saying? However we make it work, yeah. And and shit, we ain't gonna stop. You know, and um, one thing about me too. You know, a lot of people don't understand like. Some of the stuff I do for independent artists is because, like, like the I understand the working class American citizen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't tell a motherfucker five hundred dollars for a service that normally a person would charge five hundred for. But this person, this person ain't got five hundred dollars, so I help him out, and I might do it for the fifty. You see what I'm saying? But at the end yeah. of the day. That or he'll remember that, and he'll bring me somebody who probably can pay that five hundred dollars or close to it. So you know, it's all about just building and networking, and, and and just you know what I'm saying, keeping everything level with people, man, and and not saying, hey, man, uh, I gotta have five thousand for this, or we can't even talk. You know what I'm saying? If if, if cause I'm a, like I said, I'm a true independent artist, so I know what what it means from coming from the ground up. When I was reaching out to a lot of these artists and. They, they they wanted a certain price for a verse, and if I ain't had that, then they wasn't even talking. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. as 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 I'm growing, which I'm still growing, people hit me. I say, what's your budget? Because I ain't got time to play with you or, or nothing like that about no money. You know what I'm saying? We gonna Whatever you got, that's what we're going to do it for, and, and we're going to keep a relationship going. But I might do a song with you and start teaching you how to set up some shows, and in two years, we'd have made 20, 30, or 100,000 together. Versus, I could have just charged you one big lick, and then we never fucked with each other again after that. You know what I'm saying? So, a relationship, Bro, it's, a relationship it's in destiny, business is man, always stronger than money. You know, always. And we got the same goal, but it's, I mean, 
you like I always stress to you, nigga. You ain't the next Master P, my nigga. Yeah. You bigger than that. You the right. first you, bro. Right, and the right. reason why you the first you is because I'm the first me. Right, right. And the only reason why me and you got together is because I'm gonna push the shit out of you and you damn sure, nigga, all my money. I haven't called you because I've been on the road passing out flyers. 